New data from the United Nations shows the world's population hit 8 billion people today. That means 1 billion people have been added to the global population in just the last 12 years. Middle-income countries, mostly in Asia, accounted for the most growth over the past decade, gaining around 700 million people since 2011. The UN is projecting that the global population will peak at about 10.4 billion people in the 2080s and remain at that level until the year 2100, which is hard to wrap your mind around. With more, I'm joined by Daryl Bricker, global CEO of Ipsos Public Affairs and co-author of Empty Planet, The Shock of Global Population Decline. Good morning and welcome. Thanks for having me on. Decline, we're going in a different direction now. I, I heard this number today and my first thought was, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Well, as John Ibbotson and I argue in uh, Empty Planet, it's neither a good thing nor a bad thing, but it's an important thing. Uh, but the truth of what's happening with population is we're about to peter out. Probably mid-century, we're going to peak much sooner than the UN says that we're going to peak, and probably at a much lower level than they're predicting. Uh, so uh, I think what probably we're going to looking at is something below 9 billion. I don't think we're going to have another billion announcement uh, from the UN ever. Uh, and that we'll probably be saying by the time we hit 2040, 2050, that the population's actually tipped into decline. And probably we'll end up this century close to where it is today, if not less. Why? Why will there be a declining birth rate? Well, we've stopped having kids. I mean, that's basically it. I mean, one of the things that uh, doesn't come out with great prominence in the, uh, in the UN's uh, announcement today is most of the growth that they're talking about is from people not dying as fast as they used to. It's not that people are having many, many, many new kids. So it's a bit it's a bit misleading to say, oh, we've grown to this level. No, it's not that we've grown. It's that we haven't declined as quickly as the population figures suggest we would, mainly because people are living to an older age. So it's basically population retention as to, opposed to actual population growth. And what are the implications of that? Oh, they're huge, Marcia. They're huge. For Canada... For example, there's a reason that the government has announced that we need, you know, 500,000 new immigrants next year. That's because our birth rate is well below replacement rate. In fact, it's at an historic low uh, in Canada. So if we didn't have immigration, we would be tipping into decline fairly soon, like many countries in Western Europe. I mean, when I tell people, for example, that Japan is losing half a million people a year from its population, that China is going to lose half of its population this century that India is now below replacement rate. These are This is shocking information for most people, but it's the truth of what's happening with global population. And just off the top of my head, Daryl, I'm thinking about how we always say housing is a big issue. So there doesn't seem to be enough homes, houses for people to live in, yet you're telling us that the population is going down. It's kind of confusing. Well, it's, well, it's not that there's not enough homes. It's that there's not enough homes where people want to live. So if you go to places in, in Canada, and then this is a global phenomenon, by the way, not just a Canadian phenomenon. Yeah. If you go to like mid-sized cities in, in more remote parts of this country, they're all in decline. Uh, and real estate is not priced like they're living in the greater Toronto area or in Vancouver or in downtown Montreal. The problem that we're, we're having is that our population is greatly concentrated. 82% of us li now live in a city, uh, a town bigger than 1,000. Uh, 40 percent of us just live in four places uh, Toronto Montreal Vancouver and uh, in, in Calgary so the problem with housing is that the supply in the country doesn't match the demand and the demand is mostly growing in car commuting suburbs fascinating um, so overall what do you think what, what trends are you watching for then next Daryl well, how fast this is going to happen. I mean, and that's the thing. I mean, the UN, the last time they put out one of these projections was in 2017. And since then, their estimate to the end of the century is that the population is going to be 800 million less than they were projecting even back five years ago. So what I'm really watching closely is what's happening with fertility rates and how soon we're going to peak and when it's going to start to decline. But the big issue that we're going to be dealing with going through this century is not the size of our population. It's the age of our population. And we're just not ready for it. And that is a whole other conversation. Daryl, so glad you were able to join us today. Daryl Brooker is the global CEO of Ipsos Public Affairs.